Hi, this is JB from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Uh, the return to Circle and Don box has finally <laughs> arrived here in Finland after three months of waiting. So uh, I had planned this video to be out quite a while ago, but because we weren't able to get this box before now, uh, this is uh, coming out now. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, how to use the tarot cards in the from the circle uh, the return to circle and done box so let's get started so the return to circle and done box comes of course with addition to player cards a new campaign uh, encounter cards uh, scenario cards etc but the big thing i was really waiting in this box were the tarot cards so, of course, I had to ha have a pimped out uh, tarot card box. There are 22 tarot cards in the deck and let's look at them a bit first. So, I have already sleeved up all of my tarot cards, so they come with this kind of uh, really beautiful looking uh, card pack. And they are just beautiful as you can see uh, one thing I really like in the Circle Undone uh, campaign is this uh, tarot art that is uh, represented throughout this uh, campaign in the Acts and Agenda decks so how do you use these tarot cards so there are a bunch of different ways to add these cards into your Arkham games you don't have to restrict using them only in return to the circle and done you can use them in any campaign any scenario whatever and there are a multiple of, uh, different ways to uh, of how to use the tarot cards so uh, there are 22 different tarot cards and uh, they are representing uh, the main uh, major arcana of the tarot so not that familiar with that, I, I can't do tarot readings, but there are some ways to do the uh, readings to uh, spice up your games of Arkham. So, uh, first off, uh, we would shuffle, of course, the tarot deck every time we are using these cards, so that we don't know what we are getting. Just doing a quick shuffle. Then, uh, the simplest... Uh, Tarot reading is one card reading, which is chaos. It is just basically that you pick one card, uh, you shuffle, pick one card off the top of your deck, and it needs to be in random orientation. Because uh, I am sleeving the cards, I know that the upright is the open end. So uh, how I'm thinking of doing the randomization, I will just uh, throw the card around, and which way it lands, that is the orientation. So this would be upright. Let's see if we can... Oh, uh, it's a bit hard to throw. So, okay. I think... Yeah. Not sure if I can get it to land ever <laughs> on the other side. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do something like this. But you could also like uh, use a die to... Or, or flip a coin to see which orientation it is. Or not use leaves when... Then you can just... Uh, shuffle these uh, any way you want but yeah this would mean if I get it uh, in the chaos orientation like this it is uh, upright so we are using the uh, beneficial uh, part of the card which is down here so for this card the Empress um, during the first agility test each investigator performs each round they get plus one in uh, agility and if it would land on the other side, we would use the um, reversed side. So during the first agility test, each investigator performs each round, they get minus one agility. So it depends which card you get. Then, and how uh, it is orientated in the chaos reading. But then there is a two card reading, which is balance. So for this, you pick one which is upright and one which is always reversed so you just flip it around and use those so uh, that is the balanced version I'm not uh, reading all the cards uh, so uh, 
just demonstrating how you do the readings. So uh, for this, you are using the uprights uh, for the first card and the reversed for the second card. And that is the balance two card reading. Then there is the three card reading choice. Uh, this is particularly interesting if you want some uh, decision making in your readings. So you deal three cards. So this is a three card uh, reading. You flip all of them. Then you have to decide two which will be uh, reversed. So only one gets to be upright. So the, for, for the choices, it, it, really depends on your investigator, your scenario and etc. So for now I would just uh, decide I would, for example, uh, well, let's say I am playing uh, a fighting character, so they usually have a lot of health and a lot of uh, ways to fight, so I would maybe reverse the uh, which drops your uh, combat and drops your health by one so that um, my hand size is increased which will balance out these but anything uh, it, it brings a lot of decision making so I think I, I like that one a bit more than the chaos version and the balance version then uh, the last uh, suggested way to make a campaign make a reading with the tarot card is the campaign reading which is destiny so uh, this is a bit longer one so for example if we are playing the return to circle and done there are eight scenarios so we would deal one two three four five six seven eight cards uh, then we will flip them and they are from left to right so this is the first scenario second third etc and then you have to uh, reverse half of these and you can choose so this is the first scenario second scenario third fourth fifth etc so you can choose okay I know uh, first scenario might be a bit hard when you don't have any experience we'll keep that upright the second one we it is a usually easy one in this campaign so I think I'll uh, reverse that one etc so you decide uh, which cards you flip and these are in effect for the whole campaign so you are not able to change this and you have to uh, make the decisions in the initial uh, reading at the start of the campaign before playing anything so I think this is also an interesting one and I will probably use this one when I'm doing the uh, return to the circle and on playthrough on my channel so look forward to that one and uh, of course these are only the suggested ways to use the tarot cards, so you can uh, use any other way you can imagine. So uh, there is like a cu uh, custom readings, there are endless possibilities to, for readings that you could perform using the included tarot deck. Feel free to create your own, so just make one of your own which feels like interesting and adds flavor to your game. So that is basically how you use the tarot deck. So again, you can use this in any scenario, any campaign and uh, do a variety of different kinds of readings. Uh, hope you guys like this how to use the tarot deck video. Thanks for watching and until next time.